Hello everyone, welcome back. And this will be a general weekly reading for the sign of Aquarius for the week of August 28th through the 3rd of September of 2023. And thank you to everyone who has been subscribing to my channel, as well as those who have given the videos a thumbs up, letting me know you've watched them. Thank you for doing that. starting out with the six of pentacles so you're feeling like you have enough this week starting out in fact you're willing to help others maybe you're giving them some good advice maybe giving them a hands up maybe in a job that you already work in you're putting their name in to you know become an employee there but you're willing to help and the magician very nice yeah, you may have had to face maybe some difficulties for yourself, little, just challenges, not, nothing at all. And it's made you remember and focus in on yourself of what you want in the future. So it's sort of given you that uh, nudge back onto your own path. So you're starting to realize, you know, your own potentials and what you want to have. You know, maybe you got sidetracked just a little bit there. Temporary. And the world card. So most definitely, you know, moving into a whole new area in your life. You're moving forward. You want better things in your life. These could be new jobs. You're moving forward. You're starting over. You know, maybe you've uh, just decided to change jobs, change residence. Something has definitely finished up for you. And now you're trying to tell yourself what is your next step going forward. So you're making those decisions this week. But they're turning out in your favor because, you know, the world always keeps turning no matter what. But you're realizing you're taking the reins this time for yourself. And the justice card. So there could be a divorce for some of you. That's why you're now making this decision this week. This could also be a court case in settling old debts. Maybe you owed somebody something or vice versa. Or this could just be a totally contract is in a job, uh, uh, renting a place, that sort of thing as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be anything of bad news. You know, it's just understanding the different things in your life that has taken place and you're realizing that you know if this is a legal contract that what the expectations are coming out of it you don't have to question whether this is you know done fairly or not it's just done and the nine of rods yeah so you're standing your ground, you're determined to succeed. You've, you know, there's no doubt in your mind of what you're doing or anybody else's who's looking at you, trying to understand or figure you out. If you're pretty much an open book this week on what you're going to let happen in your life moving forward. So that in itself can be, you know, a very good thing to do. There's no question. You know, sometimes that's what we have to do with people, you know. It may be in a, a painful memory or something that's, you know, when you went back on track that you realize that, oh yeah, I need to be a little bit stronger for myself. And you're still going forward with your plans. And the Three of Swords. So there may have been some betrayal here. You know, something that... That's left a profound mark on you. This could have been a relationship for some of you, something in the past that had, you know, you figured it was going to go one way and unfortunately it didn't. And it's left a profound mark on you. And now you're trying to figure out that, okay, I don't want to stay in this hurt anymore. I want to be able to, you know, open up into receiving from the world. Now that can be in love, friendships, and just getting along with people. So you're trying to free yourself this week and understand of what was holding you back. Oh, and new offers. The Ace of Swords. 
Yeah, you were feeling stuck in any form. This is the week that you're definitely going to get that extra push for yourself. You know, it's going to help you to clear the air, get a really good vision of what it is that you're expecting to come into your life from this day forward, and you're moving on it. You're also finding that when you do that, it's helping you to sleep better at night. You're getting more clear thoughts, but the universe is helping you here for sure. You know, it's just cutting through all the red tape in order so that you can see what is on hand for you. And the Four of Cups. Yeah. So you've been thinking about doing this for a while. You know, it's not that you're in need of anything it's just that you want to experience more things in your life so you know not that could be you just in a nutshell this week you just want to get out there and start over and have a good time and you know and somebody's offering you that opportunity to do that because you're feeling almost a little bit stuck this week in different things in your life and the Queen of Swords. Yeah. You're definitely, you know, getting the help that you need for yourself so that you can verbally say what you're thinking. Because sometimes your tongue's a little sharp. It's not meant to be that way, but sometimes, you know, when we all get fed up, our tones change and, you know, but we say what we mean. And this time you're making sure that you don't just blurt it out. You're actually thinking about how to say it so that you get the point across without, you know, leaving somebody bleeding on the ground. And a devil card. Yeah. You're definitely, you know, realizing that the worst is over, you know, but you don't want to be burning any bridges behind you, but you want to deal with a lot of issues now this could be stuff that you were taught at a younger age and it's carried through into your adulthood you know maybe they didn't have clear boundaries within you know their friendships and stuff and so that's what you've seen and expected to happen in your life but now you're getting tired of it you know somebody walks through the door every day of your house and opens the fridge and says you know like what do you got to eat and where's the coffee after a while, that doesn't make it that, you know, it feels like they're home anymore. Now they're feeling like they're an invader. So you're learning to tell them, you know, you need to stop that. And the hermit. Yeah, you're just needing a little bit of time and tender love and care for yourself this week. You need to just shut everything off. Take a breath see what's around you and then get going again but right now you're just looking for that little bit of time to yourself now this could be you sitting in your vehicle in the parking lot after work going oh boy you know that sort of thing and the 10 of rods yeah you're definitely had enough you're tired you're worn down you're realizing it's taking a toll on your health in some cases for some of you. You know, you're not sleeping right or eating right. You just always seem to be tense and stress and, you know, not many things to smile about for yourself. So you're learning that this is the week that, you know, if this was a job, you're telling them, you know what, I need extra help. And if I'm not going to get it, then you're just going to not, you know, continuing to overexert yourself to get the job done you're going to do as much as you can and that's it now this could be in a uh, family as well or friendships even you know they have a tendency to take too many steps sometimes like i said and and uh you're just tired and the six of cups well a little bit of time you know reminiscent of the good times maybe you've got seen somebody or talked to somebody you haven't talked to in a while and it just brings up some good times in your mind memories happy times where you grew up you know who you had around you maybe you're just talking about other people and it gives you that breath that you need so that you can put a smile back on your face and 
keep going forward. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card. But your cards are positive. You're moving forward. You're setting yourself free. You're releasing yourself from burdens because you're realizing it's time. All right. No communications aren't favorable right now. Wait or look into other options and ask the angels to help guide you and confront and comfort you. Well, that's nice. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you again next week. Bye for now.